Well, the gospel meets racial reconciliation. That's the goal of National Unity Weekend in communities across the country. The event involves volunteers serving on Saturday and pastors preaching on racial unity Sunday. CBN's Jenna Browder has more on the effort. It's been said Sunday is the most segregated day of the week in America. In a move to change that, churches and ministries are coming together to spur on racial reconciliation with the first ever National Unity Weekend. God had to deal with some really strong attitudes on both sides. Bishop Derek Greer, pastor of Grace Church in Dumfries, Virginia, is behind the event. Gentiles didn't like Jews, Jews didn't like Gentiles, but by the grace of God, God tore down uh, the, 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 the wall of partition, if you will, and did marvelous things in the hearts of the early church. And he believes the gospel can overcome a similar situation today, seeking to tear down walls in National Unity Weekend, happening June 10th and 11th in communities across the country. A spiritual solution to the sin of prejudice, creating so much racial tension in America. The event is twofold. On Saturday, churches will serve the underserved as a practical demonstration of love in action. Church is gonna get together, uh, we're going to walk out this gospel. Uh, African Americans, Hispanics, white people, Asian people are going to serve uh, the needy in the community. CBN's own Operation Blessing will be feeding people in Texas, Virginia, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Then on Sunday, pastors will focus on preaching a biblical perspective of racial unity. The teaching, Galatians 3.28, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Uh, it's vital that we, you know, get out front again and start leading on this issue. And the only way we're going to do that is if we begin to preach on this subject. And it's prophetic. It's practical. It's not political. These three words. It's prophetic. It comes from the Word of God, driven by the Spirit of God. It's practical, and it's non-political. Reverend Samuel Rodriguez pastors California's New Season Church and heads the National Hispanic Christian Leadership Conference. He's also a big advocate for National Unity Weekend. I have this crazy dream that in my generation, we're going to see more multi-ethnic kingdom culture churches planted in America than ever before. He believes this event can help pave the way. In a nation that is uberly divided, here comes Unity Weekend. This is the message of the gospel. Imagine if every year uh, pastors across the nation began to relook at their New Testament and see what God says about this uh, important subject of ethnicity and race. And then imagine if congregations heard their pastors speak into this issue. And instead of being informed by CNN, MSNBC, or Fox News, uh, they're being informed uh, by what the Bible right. says about this super, super important matter. And this isn't just a one-time thing. Bishop Greer's vision is to make it an annual event happening the second weekend each June. Jenna Browder, CBN News. A crucial and biblical message desperately needed today. Andrew? Amen. Appreciate uh, Pastor Greer. You know, in, in the Gospel of John, Jesus washes the disciples' feet. You'll remember this. And then he stays and talks with them and teaches them. And in John 17, Jesus prays for himself. Then he prays for his disciples. And then he prays for those that will follow. That's you and that's for me. He didn't pray we would have power or be obedient or be wealthy. He prayed we would be unified. He prayed to the Father for unity for us. Why? So people would believe Jesus was sent by the Father. And you know, Micah 6, 8 says, what does the Lord require of you? To love justice, mercy, and walk humbly before your God. So we applaud this effort. We're so glad CBN is a part of it. And yes, let's love each other. Listen more and maybe talk.